in the trees of Southeast Asia, the tropical Americas and Australia, you'll see a nest of incredible insects. A nest made of the tree's very own resin binds the colony together. Bees, the eusocial hymenopteran insects known for their big role in pollination, honey production and their stings. How have they evolved this ability, you may ask? When bees first evolved a eusocial colony structure, the roles of reproductive organs known as ovipositors were useless for workers. Only the queen of the hive is capable of mating and founding a colony. But how to defend such a colony? That's where stingers come in. Bee stingers are modified ovipositors, injecting venom into their attackers. Because reproductive organs are modified into stingers, only female bees can sting. But here we find a colony of bees which do not sting, regardless of gender. These are bees of the classification tribe Meliponini, the stingless bees. And this is what makes them unique. But how do they defend their colonies without stinging? More importantly, why have they lost the stinging ability? Meliponines cannot sting as their stingers have been highly reduced and hence are too small to pierce exoskeletons or skins of intruders. The creatures which mainly intrude stingless beehives are ants, who are in search of food such as honey, pollen or the bee larvae. And to prevent these intruders from getting inside, the magic comes from within their nests. Stingless beehives have a labyrinthine interior, with most pathways being decoys and leading to nowhere useful. Only the bees are aware which path is quickest to their queen, where all the necessary goods are stored. This confuses intruders and gives the bees more than enough time to either catch them and carry them outside or use their jaws and subdue the intruder. The colony is organized into queens, workers and male drones, each having a special role. Queens are egg layers, with mostly only one per colony. Drones serve only a breeding purpose and workers tend to the queen and brood, construct nests, forage for food, etc. The role of workers depends upon their age. Only the oldest bees can perform tasks which involve leaving their nest. The youngest tend to the queen and brood and help with nest building activities. These bees are also very small and hence can pollinate the smallest of flowerets increasing biodiversity around their area and helping those plants reproduce. Only a few species in Australia produce more than enough honey than they require, so these guys are not useful to us for this purpose. They can certainly invoke curiosity and make us interact with the world of bees more, as they cannot sting us. Other bees might only do so if threatened. In addition, the small size of meliponines makes them cute. What do you guys think? All in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well as its editing style. Be sure to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe so as to not miss out on future invertebrate content. This is ABSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.